Howdy, it's Ryan from RNA Music. Deep in the heart of Texas. That's where I'm at. How's it going today? Excellent. I hoped it was going that great for you. Alrighty, well, it has been a busy couple of weeks and we've had a lot of stuff going on. And um, if you watched the last several videos, you'll have seen that. But right now, it's time to get back to some product reviews. Gear. Guitars. Reviews. And today's guitar of the day is a lovely, lovely guitar from the fine folks at Washburn. And um, I'm pretty excited about this little guitar myself. What we have is a Washburn WP11SNS. -S which is a parlor guitar. Very cool. I like it. So a little bit of the background, this, uh, this guitar is really kind of a throwback. It's based on design uh, that Washburn had over a hundred years ago. So it's very much a, a historical design. It's got the gold open gear tuners. Which is pretty sweet. We have a solid cedar top. It's very cool. It's got kind of a matte finish on it. Mahogany back and sides. Very nice. Mahogany neck with a satin finish on it. A lot of the Washburns have satin finishes on the necks now, which I'm quite fond of. This is pretty cool. Um, it actually has a bone nut. It's very, very cool. You, know, you see a lot of new bone and plastic nuts, nuts, on guitars in this price range. This one actually has a legit bone nut. It's 44 millimeters in width. It's got a two-way truss rod, which works. I had to adjust it. Just uh, a moment ago, we've had some pretty dramatic temperature changes here in Texas in the last couple of weeks, so I had a slight tweak. It's good to go now. Inlays, these nice pearl dot inlays, and then the abalone rosette, which, let's see if you can see it, is very nice, very classy. The bridge. Uh, rosewood material. How about that? Let me tell you what Washburn has to say about it. Now you could just go to their website and read it for yourself, but that's what I'm here for. Features mahogany back and sides for slightly more focused articulate tone and has pearl dot fingerboard inlays. It has a 24 and 3 quarters inch scale. Features a natural stain finish. Solid cedar top supported by quarter sawn scalloped Sitka spruce bracing. Read that three times fast. Uh, let's see, abalone rosette, standard washburn rosewood bridge, mahogany neck, features a rosewood fingerboard, 40, 44 millimeter nut. What do they say it sounds like? Here you go. These specs produce a nicely balanced tone, perfect for finger picking and singer slash songwriters. The clarity of the parlor-sized body is especially suited to recording and mic'd performance. Very nice. That's what Washburn says. Let's hear a little bit. So I'm not a finger-style guitar player. Nope, that's not really my strength or forte, but I'll do, I'll try to do a little something for you so you can hear it, so.
a little bit of finger picking for you. Let's try some picky picking. <laughs> My conclusion is, <clears throat> having played on this guitar a couple of times, it's a great little guitar. It's a parlor guitar, it's not mega huge, but the amount of sound that it actually puts out from this small body is pretty impressive. Um, it's fun to play, it really is. It's um, probably definitely more suited to that singer, songwriter, finger style player. Uh, I used to pick some on this and um, you know, I think it sounds a little better when you're doing finger stuff, if that's your bag. It's not mine, really. I'm not that great at it. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's a great guitar. It's a great travel guitar because it's very small and compact. You can take it with you in the car, any of that kind of stuff. You know, if you travel a lot or you're in hotels or maybe you're a truck driver, something like that. You don't have a lot of room. It's a great compact little guitar. It puts out a lot of sound for the size that it is. It's very impressive. Everybody who comes in the store and grabs it off the wall, that's the first thing they say, they're like, wow, this really puts out a lot of sound. And um, it's true, it is. It's a very cool guitar. I think the retail price on this guitar is $533. Yeah. Now that's, of course, retail price. Now normally, we don't do a lot of retail pricing. So, RNA music price is $299. $299. Boom, 299. Um, great guitar for the money. So, I have one here in stock. I have one. If you want this one, you can buy it from me. RNA Music. Message me. Send me an email. RNA Music at live.com. RNA pricing, 299. Uh, plus tax if you live in Texas. If you're outside of Texas, no tax. But we may have to work out, well, there might be a little bit of cost for shipping because FedEx shipping has gone through the roof. It's really quite expensive to ship the guitars, so, um, but I'll help out with some of that. So if you're interested, 
$2.99, maybe a little bit, you know, 10, 15 bucks for shipping in the continental US. Sorry, I don't do any international shipping with Washburn. Uh, shipping to Hawaii or Alaska, of course, is gonna cost quite a bit more. But if you're in the continental US, I can ship it about 15 bucks. So if you're interested in this guitar, message me. I like it. I wish I had one for myself. It's a great little guitar just for sitting around playing on. And uh, I may, if nobody snatches it up, you know, immediately, I may try micing it up and recording it and see what happens with that. So thanks for watching, as always. Keeps the music alive. Talk to you soon.